All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a couple of PLE commands that let you select specific track types inside of your folders. So let's get cooking. Right, let me give you a, a quick overview of the setup here. We have two folders in the project and inside these folders, we have 10 audio tracks and 10 MIDI tracks. The PLE command I want to create, first of all, will select only the audio tracks inside of our selected folder. So if you haven't already, open up the track visibility agents and click on project logical editor. Make sure you've removed any target filters and transform actions. And at the very bottom here where it says filter conditions, change it from transform to select. Next, insert two target filters. The first filter we need to change. Change the filter target to property, change the condition to property is set, then in parameter one, change this to parent object is selected. So if there are tracks inside of a folder, the folder itself will become the parent and the stuff nested inside will be the children. This second filter target, we can actually leave this as it is because it's already looking at the audio tracks, which is exactly what we want. Now, if I hit apply with the main folder selected, it's going to select the audio tracks inside the folder. So that works beautifully. Now, if we only want it to target the MIDI tracks or the instrument tracks, we can change this from audio to MIDI. And then with the folder selected, click apply and you'll see it selects all of those MIDI tracks or instrument tracks. You may be wondering if I want to select both types of track, I could just simply add another filter and leave this as media type equal to audio. Now you, you're thinking might be right, but it won't actually work. If you hit apply, nothing's going to happen. And that's because we need to play around with the Boolean options of the project logical editor, which basically is a way to tell Cubase if a command is one action or multiple actions that need to be treated a bit more specifically. Just to give you an idea, if we change here the ball from and to or on the second filter target and click apply, it'll kind of work, but you can see that it's selecting things outside of the folder, which is what we don't want. So we need to tell it to be even more specific with the boolean and say that this first filter target is one operation then the second filter targets work as a secondary operation. To do this, you'll notice that we have these little bracket symbols here to the left and right. If I click the one to the left of our first filter and choose the single bracket, and then to the right of the filter, choose the closed single bracket, this will become one operation. For these here, we're going to do this a little bit differently. So the first one, select the double bracket, and on the second one, close it with the double bracket. If I go ahead and select my folder and click apply, it will now perfectly select the tracks inside of the folder and not outside and get a little bit confused. This third one is a bonus tip. So I'll show you how to do this with disabled tracks. Create four target filters. The first one change to property is set, parent object is selected. The second one you can leave as audio. The third one change to MIDI and change the ball to OR. Then for the final one, choose property is set is disabled. We need to also set up our brackets. So the first one is a single. The second filter target set as the double bracket. And then here at the very bottom, change that to a double bracket. And when we click apply, you'll see that it now selects our disabled tracks. If you found this video useful, if you have, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was dog shit, give it a thumbs down. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.